Okay, so I found the sequencers that I was mentioning in the previous video, the Ableton Live 12.1 video update. Um, shout out to Meerkat Music. He mentioned it to me. It is Max for Live Steps, Art, Sequencer, and then there's the Rhythmic Steps. Those are the three. Now, the problem is, well, even when you run the update, you don't see them initially. So you have to go down to your packs. And in the packs at the bottom, you'll see an update, which will have the sequencers. So you want to run that and then install that. And you'll have the sequencers. Now, when you go back to your Max for Live, they should be in there. There we go. So we'll look at them real quick. So there is step art, which is one. There is, um, what did I say the other one was? Sequence, which is, or SQ, I should say. That one I'm not seeing. I might be, oh, there it is, SQ. Okay, and then the last one is rhythmic steps. It should be up here. There it is. Okay, cool. So we'll just take a look at each one. I'm not going to actually make music with them, but just kind of look them over because this is my first time messing with them, even though I know uh, they were there. All right. So it looks like you can set the loop length, the chance, the division, BPM, the amount of swing, the ratchet portion of it, which is kind of cool. Chance. Interesting. Okay. So pretty cool. Looks like there's a, is this a dice? These are your octaves here. Well, that kind of looks like a dice, but it's not. If you want to know, just pull out this bar here and it'll tell you. So this is the note order. This is, yeah, the notes, I guess, step art MIDI effect. So it's the order of the notes are triggered. And then you can lock the key scale in. If you have it set up here, you can lock it in there. And it looks like here's your randomized button to give you random velocities. Transpose. All right, let's do something with it. I'm going to remove this here just so we can see what it sounds like. Why not? I'm going to put a piano in. It's always easier just to kind of get a quick idea of what it does. And then I'm going to scale lock it to, we'll do B flat Dorian. Okay, and then we'll press play. Maybe we need to press record. So I'm going to change the BPM. It's interesting that you can have a different BPM down here. Sync on the three. Hmm. So the swing to about 64. Lock the scale. Oh, okay, so this one. Interesting. So this one is triggered by you holding the piano. But even though you can hold random notes, it's still locking it. Let's play random. This might be fun too to try with a sample. Chop the sample up in a, a simpler and have it play random notes or random chops, I should say. Very cool. I dig it. All right, so let's move on. I'm going to throw this into the next. This one's already going. So again, swing. 
pitch, octaves. We got random. Oh, I like that. You can set the key over here, but I'm gonna just lock it to what the scale is. Let me see if I go back. So there's different divisions, different lengths of each one. Set some of them to random. So this is like randomizing which notes hit, I guess, or. I like this. I need to play with it a little bit more, but I'm gonna lock the scale. You could probably set this to MIDI so you could control it with your controller. Let's see how that works. I can. Record on me. Or not. Well, it's not recording with the controller, so we'll go back to the transient. I mean, transport. It's very musical though. Some sequences I feel are very stale and you have to like really tweak them a lot to get them to do something. This is very musical and I actually think it's pretty good. Rise, the Harmony Bloom is really good like that too, but this is nice to have this in Ableton already built in. Cool, so that is the SQ sequencer. Let's take a look at uh I think if I press play, this is going to go off while I'm doing this one. Okay, so this last one looks like I think you got a bunch of drum parts to it. And it's rhythmic steps, so that kind of makes sense. There's your velocity, your slides, alternatives. You got a roll that you can set. Timing, variation, interesting. And I don't really have any, I guess you, do you need, I'm not sure if you need a, uh, let's see how this works. Okay, so it is moving. I'm just trying to figure out, so I guess this is, okay, you can draw it in here too. Interesting. Now, what would we put in here? Let's just throw some in. Oh, Lord.
definitely think this doesn't sound as rhythmic. I mean, doesn't sound rhythmic. Doesn't sound as good as the other ones with this piano. But I imagine that's because this is for drums. Now, I don't know how you would um, use this. I need to look up some more research on it. But it's kind of cool. So mind you, I'm, I've not tried these before. I saw them. I didn't try them out when they first dropped on the uh, beta, though I do have the beta. Um, so I'm just trying them out for the first time. I need to figure out how to use this one. And I think you have to have a drum rack of some sort with it. That's my guess, not knowing. So let's see, we could just put a little, a little pads one. Let's see if there's a, Let's try this and see if we can put this in here. Let's see what it does. Okay, let's just uh, try that. We'll press play and see. If you pick the sample you want it to hit, so like let's say this first one set. So that one, let's see, where's my brushes? It's right above it, right? Okay, so here you're selecting which sample you want over here. And this is where you get crazy with it. And start messing with the timing. And of course you could. Adjust how many steps. So you got to be kind of um, strategic with this, I think. Like maybe you would put one of these in and then just do it all for like percussive stuff or like uh, just hats so that you wouldn't get some really unorthodox random stuff going on. And then maybe adjust the chance like how much stuff would play uh, within here. And you want this to kind of be maybe, I don't know, just all over the place, like so it doesn't. But it's kind of cool because you could come up with some rhythms. I could see this very useful with a percussion thing, like shakers. Like maybe if you had like a few shakers or some tambourines and you wanted to mix a few in there and have it play in different parts, different time, it'd be pretty cool. So yeah. So those are the three uh, samplers. You got the Step Arp, the SQ Sequencer, and then the Rhythmic Steps. And we'll put these on together and see what it is. It's pretty wild, son. Let's randomize this. Again. Probably 
definitely not something. Yeah, if you want some really interesting things, you can do that. Um, will I use these? Yeah, I'm going to toy them around with them. They're not something I might use on a lot of different tracks. But it would be fun to mess with them to come up with something unique, different. And I could really see myself using this one for uh, unique uh, percussive sounds. That'd be fun. This one, I don't know what I would use it for. I'd have to just mess with it a little bit more. But I do like it. This one I'm is more holding the. Uh, notes down, which is um, So if I ever need an art, I think this would be pretty cool. But yeah, food stuff, 12.1, Ableton Live. Check it out. If you got it, go ahead and download it. Why not? Might as well have it in your arsenal. Pull it out when you want to use it. Explore a little bit. And that's it for this video.